OK, if this is the first time you've used Jack Barnett 21 XL, then I think this is rather advanced XL. You might do better to stop this now and go and seek something simpler. But if it isn't, let's carry on. I'm talking about pigeon racing with five pigeons, Gordon Brown, Nick Orange, David Blue, Ella Green and Alice Red. These are the pigeon races. They're the dates that they flew and they're their winnings. Now what am I picking up in this? I'm picking up, I'm looking at conditional formatting, sum if, rank, count if, naming and comments. First thing, here's a comment. If I click onto there, then it tells me what was the formula that I'm using up here. If I look here, it gives me the formula I'm using in there. And if I look there, the formula there. How have I done this? Well, if I put my cursor there and go to Insert and Comment and click, then it comes up with this. And it says, Jack Barnett 21 Advanced Excel. If I click off there, that will disappear, but it will leave that and that will come up. That's how I do that. Alright, so that's the first thing. Next thing I'm going to do is to highlight down there, go into Insert and Name, Create, Top Row gives me the names of the pigeons. I'm going to do the same thing, Insert, Name, Create, Top Row, and that gives me the winnings. And I'm going to go here, insert, name, create again, top row, total winnings. OK, so far so good. Next thing I'm going to look at is conditional formatting. Now what I've done is to say for these five cells here, I've gone up to Format, Conditional Formatting, and this has come up. And I've set a formula in there and saying the formula is equals C18, this cell here, equals max of all of those, then if it is, that's got to be the colour. Red, what I've done is to say, right, I want red font and white otherwise. I've done a sa similar thing here, equals C18 equals min. So I've got max and min. If it is, then it comes out with that. OK, so let's begin. Which formula I'm going to use here? I'm saying count if pigeons B18. So I'm going to put my cursor there. I'm going to go up to function. Count if. OK. Now what's count if doing? Counts the number of cells within a range that meet the given condition. Well, the given condition is There you are. How many of the pigeons in that list meet this criteria? B18. Gordon Brown. If I OK that, then five of them did. So I could drag that down. OK, now I'm going to look at total winnings. When we dragged that down, we saw that each one of these, out of that lot there, won five races. OK, now when we're looking at total winnings, what's the formula? Sum if pigeons number winnings. So we're going to try and see if we can work out who won 
what? So I'll go to there, go up to functions, and look at sumif. OK that. Now what's the first range? Pigeons. When I highlight that, because I named them, the total selection will come up as pigeons. Now let's go to the criteria. The criteria is this pigeon here. OK. And now we're looking at the winnings. That's that lot there. OK, now already down here we can see a result. OK, when I do that, it's come up with that figure there. I don't, I'm not quite sure how it knows that's the total, but let's go down here. Ah, now, remember I conditionally formatted that for the maximum. If that's the, the highest number, it's going to come out as that. Minimum and other two other numbers. OK. So that came out of, what did that come from? That came from SUMIF. Let's have a look at this one now, position. What we want is the rank. The rank of this amongst the total. Right? There's the total number of winnings. All right. That's how much he won. Where did he come? First, second, that's what we, we're trying to do. So we're looking at this. Rank D18 and total winnings. OK, I put my cursor there. Go up to FX. Choose rank. OK it. Put my cursor there. And right now, what is the first thing I want? I want this number here. What am I looking amongst? I'm looking amongst that selection there, which comes up as total winnings, and so already it comes out with this. Order is a number. Rank is the list sorted descending. Naught or omitted. Rank is the list sorted descending. Basically, this is one of these ones you can leave blank. So I've left it blank. OK. There's the first one. If I drag that down, then I've got there. So I've got ranks there. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, giving their prize money. All right. So we've looked at sum if, we've looked at rank, we've looked at count if, we've looked at namings. We've looked at comments, and we've looked at conditional formatting. Now, some of these you need to look at other lessons to work them out. I've just shown them here. I hope that's been useful. Thank you.